got an interesting corner there with Daniel Cormier. Merrill has a funky style. He does some, some wild things. You know Gabe what? Arnold, a heavy favorite, though. That's what it might take to beat Gabe Arnold. Something different. Gabe Arnold in the Penn State shoes. Just something to notice. Something to notice. He's moving forward, snaps Merrill. Arnold had a five pointer yesterday. He's got big move potential. Yeah, five pointer from the quad pod. Got behind, gripped it, and ripped it back arch. Cody Merrill wearing that headbutt headgear. Maybe paying homage to Stephen Monk of North Dakota State here in Fargo. I'm sure that's exactly what, what went through his mind. So now about one minute in, and we're going to see someone go on the shot clock here very soon. Merrill on the shot clock, or Merrill, yep, on the clock. Nope, not on the clock. Just on the clock. Oh, he is on the clock. That's right, one minute in, when there's no score, someone has to be on the clock. Arnold keeping the pressure on, really can't Fight break through to the legs, though. Not yet. He's going to get a point now, though, as time expires on that shot clock. 25 to go, first period. Arnold has been really dominant throughout this tournament. He has technical superiority victories all the way through. Cody Merrill has, has been dominant for the most part. He had a crazy quarterfinal that he won by a point last night. He was trailing six to two with like 30 seconds left and ended up Storming back, scoring a whole bunch of points late for the win. Arnold running forward. Right away off the whistle. Not messing around this period. Taking Merrill all the way to the scorer's table. And he got one point on the step out and kept running out of bounds in case he could get a second point for pushing him off the stage. Doesn't work like that. Come on, David. You never know. Well, you do know. Worth it. It's worth a shot. <laughs> okay, yeah, I'll give you that one. But that's the first offensive point we've seen this match. Verbal warning for, I don't know if that was hands in the face or leading I with the head. blocking, blocking off. And now we've got some blood from the bridge of the nose of Merrill. He's gonna get that cleaned up. He's gonna get some words of wisdom from Daniel Cormier. He's got, can't, can't see it on the broadcast, but Cormier with the Olympic rings and the Athens tattoo on the calf. Never bad to have an Olympian in your corner. Blood, not much of an issue. We're back to action, minute and a half to go in this match. Heavy snap, Arnold. Shot Merrill, had his hand on the leg for a little bit. Arnold, not threatened though, able to fend it off. Now he gets to a low level shot, but bails out. Good hard hand fight from Arnold. Hasn't given Merrill any openings so far. Nice ankle pick attempt. 
Good defense here from Merrill though. Thought he was gonna drag out there for a second, but now in front headlock. Now he's got Arnold flat. Arnold holding on to that leg for dear life and it works. Still make call, 37 seconds to go. That's good, good wrestling there from Arnold to hang on. Cody Merrill is dangerous in that position. 30 to go. Merrill's Single leg, deep. Merrill. Grounded, offered, one offered, one confirmed. One on the board. So just one point is all Merrill needs to take the lead. 10 seconds to do it. Pressuring forward, five seconds to go. Wow. He Close put Arnold edge. in the zone, but time runs out. One offered, but the time had expired. He's DC and Duran win want one, but I do believe time had run out. They're gonna throw the brick. You gotta throw the you, brick. Yeah, if you might as well. California corner. You might as well. I had a, an eye on the clock and, and time was out. But man, just about as close as it could be for Cody Merrill. Didn't give up. They're gonna review this and we'll have an official outcome, but I do believe we're gonna see Gabe Arnold holding a stop sign here momentarily. Controlled performance from Gabe Arnold. Rarely came out of position. Not his most offensive performance, but anytime you go home with a Fargo stop sign, I'd say you did okay. Yeah, absolutely. And you know we've seen we've seen that a lot today in the finals with guys maybe not opening up quite as much as they did throughout the rest of the tournament. It's a it's a very different atmosphere in here than it has been the rest of the week. Normally it's 25 mats, wall-to-wall -wall whistles and bright lights. Now it's the brightest lights shining right on a spotlight. Big Coming stage. Dark, big stage. WWE entrance. Yes. <laughs> I really want someone to come out in full WWE costume and rip it off Well, once they get in the corner. Strange request, but we have four matches left, so, you know, don't rule it out. Maybe, you know, coffin entrance, you know, <laughs> Undertaker style, or maybe coffin, someone falls out the bottom. Maybe somebody <laughs> carries in a coffin and somebody falls out the side or the bottom. And they're taking, taking their time looking at this review. Maybe it's closer than we thought. Well, the, I mean, the, the action did go off the map, but it, it was clearly after the clock had expired. Uh, well, that's what I thought, but. You can see them reviewing it now, but. We um, can't see the clock on our replay. Ah, you can in the corner there, yeah, there, yep. It's clearly at clearly zero. Clearly, double zeros. It's clearly at zero, but not by, I mean, not by a lot, by maybe just a second. Song on the PA coming on for Duran. I'm not sure what's taking so long. Yeah, I really don't know either. Here. And Gabe Arnold, like I said, controlled performance here in the finals, but dominant performance that led up to him. That could possibly get him the OW. He's definitely in the running at least. Yeah, absolutely. He, I think Arnold and Kyler Larkin are probably, probably leaders in the clubhouse, although Man, there were some some finals performances, some come from behind moments that that certainly could could uh, could earn some guys that award. You think about Joel Adams needing a point with a fresh start at 14 seconds, or needing a takedown or two points, and he gets it. That's incredible. And now they're putting it. You can see the review on your screen right now. You see the clock at zero, and then Gabe steps out. Here we go. There is the confirmation. Gabe Arnold, your winner by score of three to one with the failed challenge. Gabe Arnold's fired up. 
Team Georgia. Georgia with the champ. Part of a hard, hard working group of guys that's come through the state of Georgia. Man, a lot of respect there between Arnold and Merrill. 